Hi fellow Glowforge users, this is Misa and I just wanted to pop into the Glowforge app and show you a different way to customize my family um, ornament set um, for the holidays. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload it here. You can just see I'm in the Glowforge interface. The plus to the upload. Here I've got my SVG right here. It's just going to take a second. Um, I've got some birch plywood that is masked already loaded into my machine. And here it is. All right. It's not proof grade material, um, but I've double checked my cut settings and it is the equivalent to the medium basswood plywood. All right. So you can just see that the entire um, file here uploaded and this can be personalized for families who have members from two to seven um, members and um, you can either use this pre-done um, our family engrave here or you can personalize um, and make one say whatever you would like and so we're going to do that today um, and when you cut them, um, you can just see you'll have the family members' names engraved on the top delicate part, and then you'll just be gluing these two pieces together after they're cut. I just use Gorilla Glue. I like the thicker stuff, like the gel or something. It's just less messy, um, though I always get it all over my hands anyway. Um, but that's just me. Okay. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and personalize this one for a newlywed couple. Um, this has been the year that lots of um, people trying to get married uh, are having a hard time, so it's nice to do something special. So I'm just um, click dragging through and creating a box around things so that I can just delete and I hit the delete key really easily. All right. All right, okay. And so uh, I think I'll personalize this back plate too. So I'm gonna delete this one. Uh, took me forever, I had my Glowforge, I don't know, like seven months and um, took me forever to do the, figure out I can do, I'm on my Mac, but um, Command C for copy. Where's the other one? And then Command V for paste. Um, anyway, it took me forever to figure that out, and uh, now I love it. Okay, but I might be a little slow to the uptake. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and personalize this ornament. I'm going to pop into my insert text here. I like the Vidalka text. I feel like it engraves pretty nicely if um, you do it big enough. So uh, this is going to be for Susan. Enter. Move Susan over here. Resize Susan a little bit. Move Susan over with the arrow a little bit. Gonna move her back. Okay. Up to the type tool again. Click. Kevin. Enter. All right. Move Kevin over here. And resize tiny bit. All right. Centered enough for me. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is personalize this back plate. Okay, so back up to the text, and um, I'm going to do the Smith family. And then another text box underneath that with the EST period established in 2020. This could also say our first Christmas. I uh, could say all kinds of things. All right. Move that down a little bit. All right, the next thing we're going to do is check our spacing. I'm going to move that over. I do my best to eyeball it. Most of the time it's okay. All right, and if you like that spacing, you can just be done there or you can monkey with it a little bit more, um, but that's how it'll work. All right, and then the last thing I like to do, which is just a tiny bit tedious, is just go sh and make sure that all these engraves have set to SD graphic, well, which I like the best. 
for this use. Just clickety click. And then these are set to cut. Um, and these are set to cut with my proof grade settings. Depending on the material, you may have to go in here and adjust custom settings, but I do not need to do that. Um, so as you can see, I could have just a whole sheet of these. If I don't resize the ornament itself, um, all of these pieces just fit really nicely. I don't recommend resizing it any smaller, otherwise these little tiny string bits um, burn up and you don't want to do that. So if you do anything, go bigger, um, but I think they're a really nice size just as they are. Um, and then you would just go ahead and print and hit that uh, wonderful flashing button and you would be ready in about four minutes. Okay, thanks so much for watching.